Here's a look at Amtrak's NPCU F40PH90208, previously F40PH208, one of the most infamous veterans unit Amtrak owns. It is known to lead Amtrak 573 or 1573 on weekends, or sometimes 90270 leads it, which is a backup unit. It's mostly seen on the Amtrak Pacific Surfliner, a 350 mile route from San Diego, California to San Luis Obispo, California. Amtrak 573 or 1573 is what I like to call the low level set. It consists of one AM fleet and five or six Horizon cars. But on August 15th, Amtrak 573 had a pretty bad day. It was doing its usual run from San Diego to Los Angeles, when in San Juan there was an issue. There was construction happening near Rancho, and a forklift got stuck on the tracks. And when it was all done, well... And indeed they did. Amtrak 573 struck, struck a forklift at approximately 50 miles per hour. 573 had the better end of the crash, probably, but still requires major repairs. The forklift, however, got nearly torn apart upon impact. The driver of 573 was extremely lucky and avoided injury, but the driver of the forklift, who was still in it, was not so lucky. I was told some details by a friend who was on that train, and it was not good. The forklift driver was immediately hospitalized, and everybody had to get off the train. But that's not nearly close where this story ends. The trains surrounding 573, including 774, 580, 777, and 579, were delayed hours. 573 stayed at Rancho for approximately 8 hours. I got some pictures myself of it even. But the trains surrounding were also there for the hours that he stayed there. 777 stayed in San Juan for about 7 hours. 579 stayed at the North Beach Metrolink station for about 5 hours. 774 and 580 were eventually combined after 573 left, which was approximately 6 and a half hours later. Not to mention, nearly all of the Metrolink trains were cancelled. 590 and 584 were cancelled, and 777 only made its Irvine. Then, it, it went south all the way back down to San Diego. It did not make its way to San Luis Obispo. And just to make things even more annoying, there was a brush fire near San Diego, and the tracks were closed for about two hours, which delayed 785 even more than it already would have been. Man, August 15th was not a good day for Amtrak. Once 573 was moved, it was put into a mal equipment siding near Irvine. And it stayed there till the next day. At around 1 p.m., it was just deadheading to Los Angeles, probably being de d delivered by a P-42 that was just stuck in San Diego waiting for an assignment. The location of 90208 currently is unknown but it's definitely going to be on its way to Beach Grove to get some major repairs. Now everything is back to normal, and all the Amtraks out here are just their usual late, because it's Amtrak. And now 573 has 90278 instead of 90208, which will hopefully be back soon.